This is the Save America organization that Donald Trump said, oh, if you uh, give money there, it's going to help us stop the steal and we're going to stop election fraud and we're going to file all of these lawsuits and we're going to have an election defense fund and we're going to expose all these things, which they never did and they knew they were lying to uh, their supporters and grifting off of the support. Over the next 10 days, we get to see the machines that are crooked the ballots that are fraudulent, and if we're wrong, we will be made fools of. <laughs> but if we're right, a lot of them will go to jail. So, let's have trial by combat. Hmm. You know what I think would be a good idea? I think it'd be a good idea to get everyone wound up on information I know that is false, all while unleashing various mobs onto Miss Moss, Miss Freeman, and uh, let's say the Capitol. Nice. Good day, good people. It's your mail carrier with another edition of the Independent Mail. You think we're stupid? You think we're fools? Well, apparently Mr. Giuliani thought that a MAGA supporters, as he sent them off based on information he knew to be erroneous, resulting in the attacks of Ms. Moss, Ms. Freeman, and law enforcement working at the Capitol. You remember when Blue Lives Matter? ...workers uh, just trying to do their jobs when they say former President Donald Trump targeted them and dragged their names through the mud to the entire world. Well, now Rudy Giuliani, ex-lawyer and advisor to Trump, concedes that he made false statements about those two Georgia 2020 election workers. In a court filing on Tuesday, Giuliani said that he does not contest the factual allegations. He made about Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss. That news coming after the Georgia State Election Board formally cleared Ruby and her daughter Shea of all wrongdoing in June. Those women are both suing Giuliani for defamation now. They gave testimony on Capitol Hill and they told lawmakers how Giuliani's lies really impacted their lives and reputations. I want to advise viewers that these statements are completely false and also deeply disturbing. Tape earlier in the day of Ruby Freeman and Shay Freeman Moss and one other gentleman quite obviously surreptitiously passing around USB ports as if they are vials of heroin or cocaine. I mean, it's, our sta it's, it's obvious to anyone who's a criminal investigator or prosecutor, they are engaged in surreptitious illegal activity again that day. That's a week ago, and they're still walking around Georgia lying. Should have been, they should have been, uh, should have been questioned already. Uh, their places of work, their homes should have been searched for evidence of ballots, for evidence of USB ports, for evidence of voter fraud. Same things like, be glad it's 2020 and not 1920. Were a lot of these threats and, and vile comments racist in nature? A lot of them were racist. A lot of them were just hateful. Um, yes, sir. In one of the videos we just watched, Mr. Giuliani accused you and your mother of passing some sort of USB drive to each other. Uh, what was your mom actually handing you on that video? A ginger mint. Let's have trial by combat. I'm willing to stake, I'm willing to stake my reputation the president is willing to stake his reputation what? on the fact that we're going to find criminality there. Is Joe Biden willing to stake his reputation that there's no crime there? No. He has more fight in them than every other one combined, and they need to stand up, and we need to march on the Capitol today, and we need to stand up for this country, and we need to stand up for what's right. See, 
Earlier this year, I did a video about how the falsifying documents case involving former President Trump was sort of a waste of time. This is why. That white collar crime stuff CEOs and CFOs have been getting away with all the live long day. It's called cooking the books. Yes, it's a, a, a law against it. Yes, it should be punished. But in the grand scheme of things, it's the less egregious act that this administration has been a part of. Willingly putting citizens in danger is criminal. And having even less regard for the well-being and the futures of your supporters is downright disgusting. Many MAGA supporters spent months in jail behind these lies. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Should Rudy face more than just civil suits? Should there be criminal cases in play? Till next time, peace and stay informed.